Happy New Year! We are in the year 2020 now. <laughs> I know in my previous video it was really short and wasn't planning on doing that as my last video. I wanted to see if I could fit one of the pieces for the Juarez themed Juarez Strong, Juarez Proud, Juarez Pride, but I was <laughs> extremely dizzy. <laughs> like I had said in another video that I was moving and stuff like that. And then I have all these gigs and everything. So things are starting to finally slow down a bit. Yeah, the last video I had posted was a totally last minute thing. I thought I was going to be able to do a longer video and that was originally going to be posted later. But <laughs> you know, things change. It happens. So we are continuing with the Juarez Strong Pride and Proud. And so I don't have any more jewelry boxes, but I do have these watering cans. And so I still wanted to, to do like those little logos and so I, I did a watering can and as usual I already wrote all this beforehand to save time because editing takes a while and it can be a real pain in the butt. So this came out pretty good and then on the other side I did the X here. I haven't really decided when when do I ever know what colors I'm gonna use, right? Uh, <laughs> I want it to be something unique and colorful. When aren't my things colorful enough? I really want to step into this new year and try to make more pieces. Cause like once I'm done with all the El Paso Strong, Juana Strong stuff, I want to get back into making more pieces of like my abstract stuff on here. Not that I didn't enjoy doing like little quotes and sayings. I might do more of those, but we shall see. Let's go figure out what this beauty is going to turn into. Cause right now it's super plain. So let's make it super awesome, shall we?
and finished painting it. So I was kind of going for the colors of the Mexican flag, which are red, green, and white. But since I think white is so transparent and since a lot of these clays already have kind of like a white base, I didn't see a point of putting white. So I kind of put brown because there's like a little bit of brown like on that little eagle on the Mexican flag. So I put that up here instead. And then I always have a hard time painting on these ceramics because every time I paint like the layers can never fully be even so I always like to dazzle it up by putting like splatters of paint around the piece so that's what I did. It's still a little bit wet so I put it all over the piece like this. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry a bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some Maj Paj and then trace it and that's pretty much it for this one. It's a very fast piece. Nothing too complicated. Like the jewelry boxes, those kind of took some time. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry a bit. Let's do that. Maj Paj. So it is really wet, so I'm gonna try not to touch it too much. And usually Maj Paj dries relatively quickly, so I shouldn't take that off. I just really realized I didn't even bother to, to cover the back right here. It's okay, a little stuff like that always gets slipped up by accident. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. I'm just gonna leave it on here. So hopefully you shouldn't stick that much on plastic, so. All right. So I added some extra stuff on here. I added white, I added a little bit more pink, but mostly just a little bit more white and a little bit more yellow for it to stand out a little bit more. I might add a few more touches off camera, but we shall see. So right now I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna trace it. Let's go ahead and let it dry for a bit. So I'm just gonna let that sit, sit on its own, let it dry a little bit more because it's still a little bit sticky. But it's basically done. I'm just gonna make like a few tweaks here and there off camera. But this is basically the end result here. So it looks, I, I like it, it looks really nice. I just need to fix some of the lines up here and on the, and on the letters a little bit and it should be good to go. My little watering can. On this side you have the X. And on the side, you have the bodice ride. So that is it for this week. And I shall see you next time. Bye.